So now we have a um, our ESP hosting a web page on a local on the local network. The next step is to actually make it do something. So let's start off by making ourselves a button. Now again, I'll be referencing my code. We're getting deeper into the weeds of stuff I don't understand as well. So I might make mistakes. In fact, it's fairly certain I will. Be a miracle if I don't make some silly mistakes. But bear with me. So the first thing we do is let's add a button. So we add to our web page. So we're gonna go is after our hello, we're gonna take we're gonna change hello to button. And after that, we're new paragraph, and then we're gonna do uh, another tag start input type equals. On click on on click equals quote um button handler equals this gonna be a function a JavaScript function that we're gonna write. Or give it an ID. And you call this just button. We'll give it a more specific specific name later. And then value. Type equals S E and class. Oh, I don't think we need actually. And then we close that function and then we add a slash p and let's send this over and see if we have a web uh emergencies. so just a quick note this p is just going to split the text button above our button it's going to be a button who's going to call a javascript function button handler which we will write later the id that we're going to refer to it as button so that we know where that code is in our code and the value is going to be the text on the button we're just going to say press p so we should just have is a RGB lamp controller button press me. Let's compile and see. Also, if you're having trouble reading this, uh, make sure you're saying the video to 1080p to get a good quality. Um, video makes it easier to read the equals versus dashes. So let me upload this. And while I'm doing that, I'll pause the video as I have been. And I'll restart if I have an error or bug. I'm going to have to end this video a little early because I'm having serial port problems. And the easiest way to fix those typically is to reboot your computer. So if you're getting serial errors like serial exception cannot configure port, so compilation worked fine, it's in the upload that failed. Um, the best thing to do is restart Windows. So let me end this video and then restart Windows. And then next video, we should see the results of that compiled.